Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel for another new video. I am very excited about this one because it is something that I've been needing to do on my channel forever and just never got around to, and that is DIY phone cases. I actually ordered the supplies for this DIY months ago and finally got around to doing it, and I am so excited for the way they all turned out. So if you're excited for this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on all the good stuff coming up. And also make sure that you check me out on all of my social media. I'm going to have links to everything right down below. And now let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're going to start off this case by just taking our ruler and measuring how wide our case is. And once you have a mark of that, make sure you remember it because that's how you're going to know how much yarn you're going to need. So for this DIY, I'm using black yarn just because I thought it would look nice, but obviously you can use whatever color you want. And you're simply just going to wrap the yarn around the ruler and then scoot it down and continue filling that area up that is the size of your case. And then you're just going to go ahead and run a line of hot glue along the top of the yarn and then you're you're going to place your case down and the nice part about this is that the case is clear so you can very easily see where you're placing the case then you're just going to hold it in place there until it is totally dry and then slowly pull out the ruler and you are just going to be left with a whole bunch of loops there which you simply cut through and then voila you have your first line of shag and i think this looks so cool but i also want to say that cutting these as i went did make it harder so i recommend just leaving the loops and cutting them all at the end i think that's sort of the best move but you're just going to go ahead and repeat those steps over and over again until your entire case is filled up with this beautiful shaggy material So once you have your whole case done, except for at the top there, you just need to re-measure so that the camera hole doesn't get covered. Although I do have to say, this isn't exactly a functional case because the shag still sticks up and covers your um, photo hole. So if you're going somewhere that is going to require taking a lot of photos, this probably isn't the right case to use at the time. But oh my gosh, does it look cute. And once you have all of that in place, you are done. I absolutely adore the way this phone case came out. It's probably my favorite one in this video. It's just so soft and fun and fuzzy and just so different from anything I've ever seen. Make it on your own, but we don't have to go up. We can stay forever. All right, so you're going to start off by cutting out this Starbucks logo, and I actually am going to put a link to this down in the description, and if I forget, I'm sure people in the comments will remind me that it isn't in there, and then I will add it in there as soon as I see those. Um, but this is sort of like the basis to the way that this DIY is going to look. And then all I did was just cut out a tiny little piece of cardboard that's sort of in a small rectangular shape and trace around it with a Sharpie. And the idea was that I was going to create the little squares where you write down what the order is on the Starbucks cup, but you'll see in a second, it turned out sort of messy, but I just fixed it really easily by going in and thickening up the lines and making them look a little bit straighter and less wobbly. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna freehand this. It's totally up to you how exact you want this to be. You can use a ruler or measurements or whatever you want, but freehanding it, I thought still turned out really well. Mm -hmm. And just to add a little bit more, I decided to add a check mark to the bottom box just because I thought it would look like maybe there was an order written on there. Of course, you can customize it with your own order. It's totally up to you. And now it is time to attach our label. So you just place it however you want it. And then I'm just using some Mod Podge to glue it down on the outside of the case. That way it goes over top of the squares without the squares like showing through. And I also decided just to Mod Podge over top of the whole thing. One, to hold the Sharpie in place and also just in case the Mod Podge left any sort of texture the whole case would be that exact same texture. And then you just leave it to dry and this is what the finished case looks like. I love this case so much. I think it's so cute and so fun. And like I said, you can customize it to be your Starbucks order. His ticket. Oh, let's not be All right, and for our last case, we are going to need some nice felt with a sticky back. The sticky back is seriously going to save you so much time and energy. So all you're going to do is flip over your felt and just trace out your case. That way you have a general outline. And also don't forget the little camera hole because you're going to need to know where that is. And then I just started drawing stars along the back there in places that I thought they would look nice so I could get an idea of how many stars I would need and what sizes. And the nice part about this is that it's going to be on the back and that part is going to peel off so it doesn't really matter if it looks nice. 
And then all I did was just cut out all of the stars. That way it was a little bit easier to specifically cut them each out. And once I had them all done, I went through and this part took a little bit of time. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit tedious cutting out each little star and making sure that it looks nice, but it is definitely worth it at the end to have a really cute phone case. So once you have all of your stars, you are just going to go ahead and peel the adhesive off of the back and then go ahead and stick it down wherever you want them. I decided to do this on the outside of my case because I thought it'd be sort of cool to have like the fuzzy texture on the outside, but of course you could stick it to the inside as well and get the same effect but with a nice glossy finish on the outside. Totally up to you. I just need the blessing from your family. And once you have all of your stars in place, you can go ahead and snap your phone in and it is ready to go. I absolutely love this case and I think it would look especially cute if you had a rose gold phone to shine through, especially with those red stars. I just think that this is the absolute cutest. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on all my social media and all the things YouTubers are supposed to say in their videos. No, but seriously, you should check me out on all of my social media because then you get to know me a little bit better and see me on days when I'm not uploading. And also don't forget to let me know down in the comment section which phone case was your favorite because I would love to know. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.